This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. All right, this is the third lecture on Chapter 2. Uh, in the uh, previous lecture, I went through the statement of financial position, the layout. In this one, let me talk through the layout of the uh, pretty statement of profit or loss. And you've got it on um, the next page of the... Uh, free lecture notes. Uh, so if you can't read my writing, look at the page uh, you should have in front of you. Uh, but here again, it's just an example to talk through the layout. And it's very much like um, this very simple uh, example I went through in, in the first of these lectures. Uh, look at the heading, it's statement of profit or loss for the year ended whatever period we choose. I said before, Although many businesses choose to do the statements every 31st December, um, they can do it any date they like. This business is doing it every 31st of March. So this statement is showing how much profit they made during that year. Uh, first of all, always the profit, we look at the sales less the cost of what they sold. So first of all, the sales revenue. Uh, it's the total sales for the year. There have been lots and lots and lots of sales. We just show the total. And it's variously called sales revenue, or just sales, or just revenue, or turnover. So either sales or revenue, or turnover, or sales revenue. They all mean the same. And to get the profit, we need to subtract the cost of what we sold. And this might look a bit funny, but, well, I'll try and explain, but again, there's a whole chapter on dealing with this uh, later on. Now, the point is, at the start of the year, I may have already had some inventory. You know, perhaps I buy and sell desks. So I started the year, and I already had 30,000 in the warehouse that I was hoping to sell. During the year, I buy more. I buy another 120,000. So I've now got 150,000 in the warehouse that I'm hoping to sell. Did I sell them all? Well, of those 120,000 I was trying to sell, ah, 40,000 are still left at the end of the year. So if I had 150, but 40,000 I've still got, only the remaining 110 were actually sold. So owning inventory is what you had at the start of the year. Add on what you buy during the year. So the total now 150 is what you're hoping to sell. But take out any that are still left at the end of the year, the closing inventory, because they weren't sold. Only the remainder of 110 were sold. So 180 is what we sold, 110 is the cost of what we sold. That leaves us a profit so far of 70, and we call that the gross profit. <coughs> now, before I move on, uh, one thing I must mention purchases. In um, ordinary English, purchase is just buy. So you buy a car, you purchase a car. Uh, you buy a shop, you purchase a shop. However, in accounting, we use the word purchases always to be the purchase of goods for resale. So if ever you see uh, something like their purchases were 120,000, in accounting, that means they spent 120,000 buying goods for resale. They may have bought lots of other things like cars and so on, but that's separate and that's not purchases. However, there's our gross profit. It's not our final profit though, for two reasons. Uh, one, which isn't very common in exams, 
but you could have received income from other things. You know, my main business is buying and selling DVDs. Uh, but maybe I have a shop and I don't use all of it, so I rent a bit of it out. And so I receive a bit of income from renting out part of my building. Uh, maybe I've got lots of money in the bank and it's earning interest. So again, I receive some income from interest. Well, I say it's not very common in exams, but if there is any other income, well, we add it on. So the gross profit is the profit from what you're selling. What is uh, sales less the cost of sales? Increase the profit separately by any other income. Much more importantly, though, uh, is the reason 81,000 is uh, isn't our final profit is there will be costs or expenses of running the business and any expenses of actually running the business reduce the final profit. In my little example at the beginning of this chapter, our only expense I think was electricity. It cost us money to run the business, but of course all sorts of expenses. Uh, what you've got there are only examples. Be any number of expenses. The rent, maybe we're renting our building. It's the expense of running the business. Electricity, obviously. You're going to be using electricity to light the building, perhaps run the machines. Telephone, wages, salaries. But remember, anything to the owner is drawings. But other employees is an expense. Motor expenses. Uh, not the cost of buying your cars, but the cost of running them. So the fuel, uh, the insurance, the repairs. Again, they're only examples, but we need to list all our expenses. Here the total comes to 31,000. And that brings our final profit, or our net profit, down to 50,000. So I, there is the, uh, uh, the layout. Uh, again, it's a sole trader. In fact, you'll see later, limited companies produce two versions. They produce a version like that and then a summary version, but I'll explain all that in a later chapter. Terminology, I've already mentioned revenue. It's a, just another word for sales. Purchases, do remember, the word purchases is always purchases of goods for resale. Uh, finally, though, trading account. Although there's our whole statement. If ever we're referring for any reason to this little bit. We don't give it a heading, that little bit on its own. But if ever I wanted to refer to that bit, you know, I was talking to you. We call that bit the trading account. Now, as I say, we don't write that heading anywhere. Uh, but if ever you see mention of the trading account, it just means the first bit, the top bit of the uh, statement of profit and loss, as far as the gross profit. OK, that was a short one. But I will pause because although there's one final or two final things in this chapter, uh, they are actually very, very important, so I'd rather have one final lecture uh, going through uh, the remainder.